The government body that had the most interest in anomalous activity was very possibly the Soviet military. Did high-ranking officers of the Russian armed forces really believe they could gain a military advantage from UFOs? Though there has been much speculation on the exact nature of the Roswell incident and reports of actual alien beings, conclusive evidence of such encounters has proved elusive. In 1997, the U.S. Air Force issued a follow-up to its earlier Roswell report, which they subtitled, Case Closed. They tried to account for the stories of aliens by suggesting these were simply crash test dummies misidentified. So it was with a sense of both excitement and caution that we examined the footage recently recovered in Russia. This reel contains images of what appears to be a scientific or medical examination of organic body parts. The individuals seen here appear to be forensic pathologists or biological research scientists. Speaking in Russian, they are seen inspecting the specimen, the leader of the procedure describing his actions and the measurements they are taking. After several minutes of this, there is a change in camera angles. Now we see the specimen being more extensively examined. open what the leader constantly refers to as tissue. He also describes parts that are removed as resembling various organs. The camera angle changes again. And finally the scientists are seen posing for the camera, holding up various samples of the dissection. If this footage is authentic, it represents one of the greatest scientific discoveries of all time. One must wonder where this film was shot and what happened to the specimen seen. If this is footage of a genuine scientific examination, what happened to the results? What did the Soviets learn and what have they done with that knowledge? Did agents of the KGB have reason to keep this secret for so many years? Certainly there are more questions here than answers. It was an indication that they had recovered something near Sverdlovsk, and that they were keeping it very secret. Senior research scientist Dr. Richard F. Haynes believes the Soviets had good reason to be interested in UFOs. It's my understanding that the Soviet military has had a continuing interest in UFO phenomena for very, very many years. And the reason being that their air traffic controllers, their radar sites, their military pilots had been reporting things, just as ours had, and they had no explanation for them. And so the first uh, possible explanation would be that it's a foreign uh, nation um, test or uh, espionage or something like that of a military nature. And if you're in the military yourself, then you take that very seriously and you explore it. This film footage certainly seems to depict interest by Russian military personnel in the object that is seen sticking out of the ground. Soldiers, officers, and civilian clothed agents are deployed around the site, and they appear to be both guarding and examining the object. This is what we found on one of the four reels of film, 
obtained in Russia. After viewing the footage, we were able to determine that it was most likely shot with two separate cameras. One apparently a handheld camera, which starts out on the approaching truck, and a second one seen here on a tripod. As the soldiers march past, you can see the cameraman turn to follow the troops. Here we cut to the other angle, the point of view from the tripod camera. And here you see the handheld camera as the truck pulls up. Both cameras change vantage points several times during the film, as if to get better views or perhaps under orders of a superior. From this angle, we see yet more troops arrive. Author Veniamin Vereshagin describes the event. Весной же 1969 года рабочий местного совхоза In the spring of 1969, a collective farmer found some strange remains in the forest not far from Berezovsky and reported that to the local security organs, who in their turn asked the neighboring military division of air defense troops, PVO, to provide assistance with the investigation. On March 1969, two KGB officers examined the discovery site and sealed it off. On the KGB request, a Soviet Army unit was brought to the discovery site after close examination of the place, they found some wreckage debris of a disc-shaped object partially sunk into the ground. At first, the KGB thought that the debris came from an American spy plane or a Soviet spaceship. George Feiler, a retired Air Force intelligence officer who was stationed at Langley, is not surprised the Russians were so interested in this object. We found that the Soviets would pay to get information on UFOs as opposed to, we'll say, an F-111 aircraft, but they were, in a way, more interested in UFOs than some of our latest aircraft. And here you see the man who is probably the head KGB agent directing the cameraman to point his camera toward the disc. A total of almost 1,200 feet of negative were recovered just on this crash site. It is possible that more film was shot, but this is all that we were able to obtain. None of this film depicts the removal of the disc itself, and at no point do we see inside the object. From this angle, we do see the handheld camera shooting behind or inside the disc. However, that footage, if it was in fact ever shot, was not included in the cancer film we acquired. We can only speculate that it may still be at large. We must also speculate on how the object ended up here. Based on information from Berishagin's book and what we can see in this footage, we have created this computer animated version of how researchers believe the crash may have occurred. The questions then become, where did this object come from and how did it come to crash here? And more importantly, what has happened to it since?